Hello, this is Iron Bear. Welcome back to my workshop. Today I'll be opening up my new box of Signar Trencher Commandos. The box contains nine grunts and one liter. That's the maximum unit size, so you can field the maximum unit right out of the box, which is nice. I'm excited to get these guys on the table because of their abilities. Stealth, grenades, and doing one damage each time they hit a living model in hand-to-hand. -hand. Kind of like snipers of melee. Iron Fang Pikemen and Knights Exemplar could be in serious trouble if you get these guys into combat first. So there are five basic models in the unit. This one is throwing a grenade. That grenade, as you can see, had to be straightened, which made it weak and later broke off. A little annoying, but with the plastic bit I had lying around, I was able to make a new grenade. There is always a little flash on metal models. It's where molds let some of the metal leak through. There is some on these, but it can be easily taken off with a little work. The models are really well detailed. Each has some grenades, beautifully detailed backpacks, and my personal favorite, greatcoats, which have a dynamic look. Nine of the ten models has a small tab to slot into the base, but because of the PP symbol and the copyright symbol molded into the side, they don't actually fit into the slot. I had to widen the slot to allow the model to fit. I wouldn't suggest doing it this way, but that's how I do it. It's easier than working with the metal itself, which could weaken the leg. There are a bunch of small parts in the kit, basically arms with guns and trench knives. I put them into a smaller blister pack from another model to keep from losing them while I work. The small parts can make assembly a little tough. This one is easy. The arm fits nicely into the socket with just a little glue. The leader, I'm assuming he's a sergeant, needs both arms glued on and they fit readily, but be sure to dry fit them before adding glue. So there are some fiddly bits, some flash, and the bases need to be made larger to fit the models, so they will take a little bit of modeling skill to put together. But there is also a lot of detail. The sculpts are dynamic and I think they fit perfectly with any trencher army. I hope to get a unit attachment to make them a bit tougher in the future. Well that's it from me. I hope that was informative. For Gus and Gears and the Connecticut Ultimate Wargaming Club, I'm Iron Bear.